there's something to do with that panel in here. First off, we got some paper. A Cerberus Pyrotronics cabinet that I will be building my panel in. It has a few little scratches on it, but you would not believe how much these can go for. I saw the key. Oh, there's the key. Alright. I'm guessing the alarm is inside here. Okay, so I do not have one of these yet. This is actually pretty cool. Take the best bit off. This is cool. Now, I don't know if this is a horn strobe or a moat strobe, but regardless... Oh, this is a horn strobe. I've actually wanted these, one of these. For All right, box number two of the unboxing segment of this video I am currently making, so let's just start doing this one. Do this one. Do this separate take. Let's see a blue box. I think I know what this is gonna be. Yup. Cycling Technologies. I got a little stick. So that's cool. So now I think I'm gonna start building it. All right, so I think how I'm gonna film a whole building process is just like kind of a update based thing. So I'll do a few things and then I'll come back with the video. I think that's probably the easiest way to do this. I thought about doing a time lapse, but there's like no way for me to put a camera up easily. So. I'll just have to do the best I can, which is this. Yeah. Alright, so it probably doesn't look like it, but it's been eight hours. Or not eight hours, but it's been like five hours. It took me so long to figure out how to get the freaking drivers on the board and stuff, so... I'm just plugging away at it still, but yeah, it, this little amount has taken me five hours. <laughs> I put the LEDs on the temporary plate. I'm not gonna even try doing the seventh segment. I mean, I did try. It was really annoying. I'm not gonna put myself through that pain until it's the permanent installation because the main problem is just the pins falling off of it. So the seventh segment's on this little breadboard still. So. But it looks pretty good, like if I reset. All the lights turn on. Like the different menus. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, some updates. Seven segments still in there. I actually got it displaying the right numbers now. You know, reset button still works. You actually don't have to press it, but it's an easy way to get back to the normal screen. I got all the zones wired. We got the resistors in, so there's no faults. And, pull station. Just have it wired, basically like how those outs are wired, so. Go ahead and give it a pull. And there we go, got an alarm. I mean, there's no noise, because we don't got the max sorted yet, but silence works. The zones were kind of being weird with how I coded it because I had it set so that it would trigger at exactly 5 volts, but I instead I made it a range, so like slightly lower than 5 volts will also trigger it. Alright, so my room is really messy right now, just because I've been working on this and I had some friends over there. Um, so I got the power source, rat's nest here, it'll be much cleaner in the final version with terminal locks, I don't out yet. 
so yeah. I got an MT. My BT12 is on there still. This MT should be doing Code 3 loop. Which sounds kind of cool. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and pull it. Hopefully it works. Stay silent? Okay, that was weird. I think something probably shook or something, but. Silenceable. Silence loading's on. Yeah. Strobe flashing. Come on, camera, pick it up. There we go. So, yeah. That's this check in. Next one will probably be the finished product with the actual, like, cover plate. So, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and Alright, so I'm pretty annoyed. My 7 segment display decided to kill itself. No clue why, but it doesn't work. When I try to power it on, it gives a dead short and makes the panel reset itself. It's really annoying, so for now I have 7 LEDs. I mean, they actually kind of work. Like, so we got one. Got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, and that's F, which doesn't look like an F at all. That's fine. Let's just put this on eight. Okay, so I did some more stuff software say. This uh, isn't the hardware side. Let's put the 66 up. That's pretty much gutted. And we got Chevron. Now basically what I did is I made the troubles much better. So if I give it, let's say put it on testing mode, which is just, the horns won't sound if it gets pulled. And then reset the system. We got a trouble, and then there's a C. Now, I know this doesn't really resemble an F and a C, but... My 7-segment display decided to die, so I had to think of something pretty quickly. So we got a C and an F. Now, let's say that multiple troubles happen at once. So, like... Let's say that one of the wires on our zone breaks... We can simulate that by removing this resistor. As you can see, we're getting F, fault on 2, and fault on coding. And it's, it seems kind of random, but how I coded it, I coded it the most compact way I could. It actually doesn't look too bad. So basically, I say all four troubles happened at the same time, it would go F, 1, 2, 3, and then C. Actually, no, sorry. It would be F, C, and then 1, 2, 3. And those would happen once per second. Now, how I have it coded is so that if there isn't a trouble on 1, 2, 3, or coding, is that uh, when, it transfer when it shuffles to when that would normally display the number, it'll just keep displaying an F. So, which is why it kind of flickers back and forth, seemingly randomly. Which is cool. And if I reattach this resistor, kind of hard to do, probably edit through this a bit. We should only have a code in trouble. And we do. Walk test also does a coding trouble. So if we put it on normal coding option. Resistor still in. We have no troubles displayed. And now I'm gonna show you why I even wanted to build a panel. <laughs>
So yeah. Uh, I might come back after this, but this might be the end of part two. Or part... What part is it now? I think it's part three. So this will probably be the end of part three. Because the next thing I need to do is get a new display on here. And I have to wait for a seven second display to come. So yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. And if this isn't the end of part three, I'll probably just edit this part in at the end of the video. So thanks for watching.